You may have heard 2K Games recently announced something pretty fantastic. Bioshock, the entire series of award-winning atmospheric first-person shooters, is being remastered and the whole collection will be released on September 13th of this year. So, in preparation for that, we thought we'd take a look at what made the original Bioshock so great. Bioshock isn't exactly what you'd call new, but in many ways it is still a more compelling story-driven shooter than a lot of more recent games, and at the prices it's going for, it's well worth a play assuming you haven't already played it. But even if you have played it, it's probably worth pulling out again for a revisit. If for no other reason, do it so you can get another chance to rescue the little sisters instead of harvesting them all. You monster. Thank you. Thank you for helping me. Bioshock was released in 2007 by 2K Boston before it became Irrational Games, and it feels it. There are some moments when the controls you expect simply aren't there, and other moments when the lack of a dedicated melee attack will kill you dead. But the gameplay was engaging when it was new, and it remains satisfying, especially as you start to unlock more and more plasmids and upgrades. But Bioshock isn't really about gameplay. The gameplay is good, no doubt, but Bioshock is about Rapture. And even nearly a decade later, 2007's Rapture is still an incredibly engaging world. When Bioshock was released, it was gorgeously rendered, and while the graphics obviously aren't new anymore, the care that went into creating this world is still evident in every detail. It's beautifully crafted and completely engaging. Because Rapture was done so well in the first place, the game itself is still fantastic. Though I think it bears mentioning that you do not have control over your character's headgear. At one point, you do get to don the diving bell of a big daddy, but I'm not sure that really counts. Bioshock doesn't deny in any way that it is trying to follow directly in the footsteps of the System Shock franchise between the immersive setting and the engaging story-driven gameplay. Just like the System Shock settings before it, Rapture is unbelievably creepy. An astonishing sci-fi city at the bottom of the ocean driven mad by genetic modification. Most of your enemies are somewhere between zombies and your neighbors, which doesn't help. It's especially disturbing when you start listening to the stuff being shouted at you by the splicers you're indiscriminately setting on fire and then clubbing to death with a pipe wrench. But that atmosphere, all those little details, are probably the main reason Rapture is so timeless. The third installment of the Bioshock series took the game from the simultaneously claustrophobic and beautiful corridors of Rapture to the open skies and decadence of Columbia. But there is something undeniably endearing about the original. Columbia is beautiful in appearance. Rapture was meant to be beautiful, and the contrast between what it was meant to be and what it has become lends depth to the experience. So if you've never played the game before, and are just looking for some quality single-player fun on the cheap, Bioshock is a fantastic, timeless way to scratch that itch. Even if you have played it before, you should give some serious thought to getting that remaster. Take a trip back to Rapture. You'll probably be surprised just how well it holds up against what you recall. And above all, remember, the hubris of man is the real monster. Ah, uh, hubris. Such a fickle, intangible beast. Remember to click the like button if you, you know, like what you're seeing, and don't forget to subscribe to catch upcoming reviews and gameplay. Also follow the links in the description for a continuous stream of fabulous gaming content, and if there happens to be some kind of video playing in the thing that you're looking at right now, you can, you can click on it. Um, something magical might happen. So, go on. Give it a try. You haven't clicked on it yet, have you? Yeah, you still haven't? Well, uh, that that's okay, I guess.